If you bake using nuts, whatever you make is going to taste a hundred million times better if you toast the nuts first. In fact, when I buy a bag of walnuts, I just toast the whole bag, keep them in the fridge, and when I bake cookies or anything, they're all ready to go. And this is so easy, it's really, really worth it. You basically preheat the oven to 350 degrees, and we're going to do walnuts this time. You take the walnuts, you spread them on an ungreased baking sheet. That's very, very easy. You just spread them around like that, that's all it takes. Put it in the oven. Now, you set the timer then for seven minutes. There's seven minutes. And you wait. Now, it's a good idea about halfway through, take the nuts out, and you just stir them around a little bit, just to kind of even out the cooking. Uh, it's good if you can kind of flip them over, turn them around like that, shake it around, put it back in. And then you wait. Well, it's been about seven or eight minutes, and I'm pretty sure they're done. I can smell them already. And they're not going to look that different because they shouldn't brown, but they're going to be very fragrant. And you can smell them like that, you know. And uh, let them cool before you use them. Always put them aside to cool. And this works really well also for pecans. Toasted pecans are fantastic. Toasted almonds are great. They're great for baking. They also make great snacks. I keep toasted almonds all the time as a snack in a in a container, in a locked container.